is Sky Kelly, and I'm the executive director and founder of Heal One World. I'm standing before you today, even though I was told when I was 18 years old that standing unassisted was highly unlikely because I was gravely injured in an auto accident. I was also told by the insurance company's doctors that I would likely should be looking for a job as a ticket taker with my one good arm. I didn't find this to be particularly appealing, and I decided that this wouldn't be my future. So I sought out other kind of therapies, including something interesting, uh, osteopathic, craniosacral, Feldenkrais, and these modalities, they changed and saved my life. When this happened, I went out and became a realtor, I became a, a filmmaker, and a scuba dive master. But I wasn't fulfilled, because I knew that there are still people like me out there that really needed these services. So I became trained in some of them, and I started Heal One World in 2009. The, we have helped over 10,000 people since 2009, have through classes that we offer for free, as well as um, providing treatments on a sliding scale, and we partner with the Venice Family Clinic. When I had to do the 501c3 paperwork myself rather ambitiously, they had me have to choose what fundraiser we would have. And I decided as a filmmaker and as someone who social impact media is very important, that there wasn't a film festival that highlighted that appropriately and that that would be maybe a little more appropriate than a fancy dinner for us to raise funds. So the Awareness Film Festival is in its seventh year. It's at LA Live. It's 11 days long now. It's October 6th to the 16th. And my ask to you is that you look us up, awarenessfestival.org. We feature films, over 150 films. They're international films. And come out, bring a friend, and your ticket supports what Heal One World does, along with all the organizations that take part in our film festival. So I hope I see you there. I think the typical person works 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., eight hours a day, seven days a week. That's about 40 hours a week. Now imagine feeling uncomfortable in that space just because you decide to be who you are. Now this is a real, real problem for LGBT, LGBT members who have a different sexual identity or sexual orientation than a normal person. And I don't think that that's fair for those people to experience, would you agree? Um, so what is Q Youth Foundation? Q Youth Foundation is an organization that's starting a movement in East LA to uh, create safe spaces for people where they can come and they can be themselves. They can share stories, funny stories, stories of triumph, stories of sorrow and, and sadness. Um, and they can come together, be comfortable with themselves, and be comfortable uh, connecting with other people. Um, um, and then, so imagine me up here. My hair is a little bit longer. Um, imagine me, would you be judging me because my hair is a little bit longer just because I choose to express myself in that way? I don't think that that's fair. And I don't think that in the workplace where people spend 40 hours a week, um, that should be fair either. So your Q Youth Foundation's uh, solution to this problem is a program called Out and About, a professional networking space where we invite LGBT members, along with allies, who value inclusion in the workspace to come together and network. And we think that this is like a valuable thing that uh, people in California need and people across the United States need. Um, in LA alone, there's 154,000 people, LGBT members. Uh, and in California, it's over a million people. And those are just LGBT members alone. Um, we want our venture to encompass both LGBT members and allies. So, uh, out and about is about a movement. Uh, let's bring together LGBT members and non-LGBT members and take the safe spaces to the workplaces. Thank you. By a show of hands, how many of you remember your first book or had a mentor read to you at night every day? A few? Okay. Well, I know I, for one, would not be here without my two best friends, Charlie Brown and his dog named Snoopy. <laughs> Nevada ranks dead last in the nation in terms of children's literacy, and this problem spreads throughout the world. Our organization, Spread the Word Nevada, donates over 42,000 books a month to at-risk youth. As of right now, we're already in 42 elementary schools, but we need help getting into 39 other schools just in Southern Nevada. Our venture, called Page It Forward, is a corporate team building event that invites your company to come in and compete in a book cleaning, in a book cleaning race that will help help not only engage your employees, but it will also help the youth throughout the nation. This venture will allow us to spread to over three new schools every year. That means thousands of students will get one book a month, and that book will help them change into the leaders that they are meant to be. 
An investment in Spread the Word Nevada is an investment in our nation's youth. We invite you to help us fight the problem of illiteracy and join our team. Thank you. Hi, how's everyone doing today? I'm John with NeighborWorks in Orange County, and fundamentally we believe that people who work hard, who sacrifice, who earn a home, and deserve a chance at achieving the American dream. Currently there's a crisis in the Orange County area. Housing prices are at six year highs, and rental rates are, are, are at historic highs. And so, there's two things that's happening right now. Number one, a lot, of mo a lot of poor and often minority families are being pushed out of their rental homes. And number two, a lot of families who want to build a better future for themselves and enter a better neighborhood can't because they can't afford a home. And so what we've been doing is providing financial services to a lot of these families. And that looks like you know, a down payment loan. And basically we'll collect interest off that. There's about 700,000 people that we can potentially help. And we need your support and we need your funding um, in order for us to run an outreach program basically aimed at making a lot of these people aware about our services. Because truthfully right now, they don't know about it. The government has also given us $3 million. I, I said that right, $3 million. And we can only use that on giving loans to these low to middle income families. And we need to use this money now because you know, if we don't use this money, uh, we risk losing everything. And so I need your help. And we sure love your support by voting for us um, because it really means something. Um, for a lot of these kind of low, low to moderate income families that are often minority and um, relatively poor, Kind of they grow up with the cards kind of stacked against them. And despite all these barriers, they fight like hell to uh, really build a better future for themselves. And so, personally, I think this is a great opportunity um, for you all to support <coughs> and kind of give back to these families. Um, and hopefully, um, we can, and hopefully, and together, um, we can help a lot of these families achieve their Thank you. My favorite memory growing up was camping outdoor in the desert with my family, a complete escape from city life. All of our family trips had come outdoors and they were spent in a healthy way and they solidified my relationship with my parents. Today, I'm away at school here at UCLA, busy as always, and the few times I do get to see my mom, I am constantly on my phone. I constantly justify why I'm on my phone by saying, Mom, I'm answering emails. But in reality, our relationship has changed. I understand that our relationship is important, and I can easily put my phone on silent, but it takes more than that. Our relationship requires and deserves quality, uninterrupted time spent in a healthy way. The best gift ever understands this. They understand that parents don't have time to plan and organize these outdoor events with their families. So we plan it for them. The best gift ever wants to create a safe, well, the best gift ever provides a safe environment for families to experience new outdoor activities in a fun, planned, and facilitated way. The best gift ever ensures that parents can bring their children and have a positive and uplifting experience in this new outdoor activity, that they can create a stronger bond with their children and that the children can pull away from the screen, even just for a moment. Parents see the importance of this, and as someone who has grown up and seen the change that technology has had on our modern culture, I too see the need for an organization like this. We are the best gift ever, bringing families together, one outdoor activity at a time. Thank you. Look around. We're sitting next to our friends, family, coworkers, loved ones. But what if they were blocked from us? What if we were isolated completely from them? Patients in drug rehab centers undergo this type of isolation every single day. Our current methods for substance abuse rehab are just not working. Relapse rates are up 50 to 90% a few months after these patients come out of rehab centers. There's a clear need for a new and long-term solution. Oceans Global is here to provide ocean-based therapy to rehab patients. We, are off we have three major advantages. 
Ocean-based therapy is proven, clinically proven, to be more effective than many of the indoor therapies that are currently provided. Just think about it. Would you rather be outdoors on the sea with your family, or would you rather be locked indoors, isolated with nobody? Secondly, uh, Oceans Global is creating an alumni network that will support sober patients for the long term. And thirdly, Oceans Global also is partnering with many influential organizations, including Hub Sea World and Social Environmental Entrepreneurs. Our business model is to take all of these, all this revenue that's going into indoor therapies and translating some of that into outdoor ocean-based therapy. We are already creating traction. We have partnerships um, and developing negotiations with the Serenity Recovery House as well as Miracle House in order to create pilot programs. And Oceans Global won't just stop at drug rehab. We're planning to expand into helping patients with PTSD, anxiety, and many, many other uh, difficulties. So there are many great organizations that are pitching today, but what makes Oceans Global special is that we're here to help save people and give them a passion for life again. These rehab patients are our friends, family, and people that we really love. So please help us help them change their lives. Thank you.